Question number four. How do you sanitize your tools, utensils, and equipment at home? Three ways of sanitizing. So we usually sanitize our tools, utensils, and equipment by using a washing detergent and then we sanitize it by using the high boiling water. So we usually boil our we usually boil our spoons and fork and we also pour very hot like hot water to our blades and mixing bowls and saucepan and other kitchen utensils. Question number five. Why do we need to follow sanitary practices and safety rules in the kitchen? Provide three specific reasons and elaborate each in two to three sentences. So we need to follow sanitary practices and safety rules in the kitchen because first it is our responsibility to do so. Once we know the right thing to do and proper ways and how to talk to that, then we are obliged to whatever consequences that might happen along the way. Number two, it's our duty to keep everything in a proper place and to keep everything safe. Number three, it's for everyone's safety. So it's not only for our own good sake, not only for our own safety, but it's for everyone's safety and to other people who will benefit from it. Question number six. It has been said that in food preparations, it is important to measure ingredients accurately and correctly to achieve correct consistency and the right taste and appearance of the product. Number one, do you agree with the statement above? Why or why not? Yes, I do agree with the statement above, but it's very necessary to follow proper measurement of the products and I mean we should follow the proper measurement of our ingredients once we uh, prepare something or once we cook food or any dishes that we want to prepare. Number two. Yes, I do practice measuring the ingredients to be used in cooking. But we will not observe proper measurement, then we might not achieve the desired outcome of our products or our recipe or any dish that we wanted to cook. Number three. Yes, it's very necessary to follow the measurement in cooking. Even though we have our own or can make our own measurement in cooking, so it depends on us because we're the one who will cook the dish, but we still follow the right amount of the ingredients because once you over mix the ingredients and once you do not observe proper then you really cannot meet with the exact taste that you wanted or that you expect from your dish.